What's up? This is Cameron and y'all are tuned in to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. I am going to go over what I've been wearing this winter and when this channel was launched, it launched in November. So I've been showing you guys a whole lot of winter fragrances. What I haven't covered is the weather in North Carolina. Yes, we do get a little bit of winter here and there, but you can have four seasons in a week. But being that the cold weather that we are allowed is about to be gone and evaporated, a bunch of my favorite fragrances are going with it until it turns cool again. So to close out the winter season, I'm gonna share with you a lot of really good winter fragrances. I'll throw in one, maybe like one fragrance for you that I would wear on one of those warmer days because yeah, it can be 20 degrees one day and 80 degrees the next. Now let's have a look-see and see what I've got for you. This video was intended for a collaboration that I haven't heard anything else about, so hence the longer beard and longer hair, but we're gonna finish this out and show you guys some killer fragrances. My first one is a cold weather fragrance. In North Carolina, the weather can vary a whole lot. It can be 40 degrees one day and 80 the next. In the colder weather, I really enjoy like my oud and tobacco and gourmands, fragrances like that. This is a oud gourmand by Robert Piguet. It is oud de Lis. This has a nice warm honey, caramelized amber, Haitian vetiver, oud and patchouli is probably one of the most delicious mass appealing oud fragrances you could ever smell you need to get your nose on this one you guys know how i am about my gourmands the next one is a super super seductive sexy beast mode fragrance from the house of altier it is cafe tuberosa my buddy gary zeman turned me on to this one and he forgot that he sent it to me for me to try out he was gonna wear it on valentine's day Guess who wore this on Valentine's Day? The notes in this are actually a little confusing. It has tangerine, cardamom, bergamot, Madagascar vanilla, and some cacao. Yeah, when you hear cafe, a lot of times, sometimes that means it might have like coffee in it or something like that. And it actually smells like it has a coffee note, but I didn't see that in the description of the notes on this. But it is beast mode super sexy compliment factor is over the moon this is an amazing fragrance and you can best bet that this will be in my stash when i decide to give this back to gary this fragrance comes to you from the house of matriarch it's called black number one aka blackbird this was sent out to me from my friend george and he was like, man, you've got to try this thing. It's so sexy, it's so awesome, this, that, and the other. And I wasn't crazy about this to begin with, but I also saw that in 2012 in Men's Journal, it was dubbed the sexiest fragrance from the West. And once you get this on your skin, get the dry down going, and you start seeing the ladies reaction, ah, uh, yeah. This thing is really, really sexy. The dry down on this thing is magical. I had never even heard of the House of Matriarch, but that's the cool thing about having awesome friends in the Fragcom that wanna hook you up with killer fragrances. George, you're right, buddy. This one is sick. Next fragrance I'm gonna share with you is the only fresh that I've got on hand for one of those warmer days in our winter is Roja Parfums Scandal. This is a really, really sexy, very inviting warm weather fragrance like i said it can vary in north carolina so this is my freshie it's my go-to freshie and you know roses have tons and tons and tons of notes a few of the notes on this one is lemon bergamot vetiver lavender and jasmine there's a lot of other notes but i don't want to bore you with that just know that it's really sexy and it smells really good this fragrance comes to you from Montal. It's called Honey Aoud. 
This was actually recommended to me from my friend Gary, and I'll tell you what, this one is crazy good. I like the honey and amber fragrances. Montal is like a house that either gets a lot of love or a lot of hate. Seems like a lot of people hate on Montal. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's this noisy little pin in this thing. There, is that why? Yeah. Okay, here are the notes on this one because this is a pretty new fragrance to me, but I've been wearing a lot of it. All right, this says, Honey Oud by Montal is a oriental vanilla fragrance for women and men. Honey Oud was launched in 2015. The nose behind this fragrance is Peri Montal. The fragrance features honey, oud, flowers, patchouli, cinnamon, leather, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. That sounds like a cocktail of a nice little winter seductive fragrance, doesn't it? It performs, 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 performs. I put this on mm, three or four days ago and I was actually, let me just roll back for a second. In the line of business that I'm in, I'm around a lot of stinky petroleum and propane and automotive BS and I can be around some really stinky stuff. For me to get a compliment at the end of the day after all of that stuff's been around me, that should explain to you what type of fragrance this is. Super, super awesome fragrance. Probably, no, not probably, is my favorite fragrance from Montal. Honey Oud. Clear! My next fragrance I'm gonna share with you is from the house of Parfums de Nicolai. It is Curcuba Intense. This is one of the most unique and stunning and loud wintertime tobacco fragrances I have ever come across. It opens up with a really nice blast of lemon and licorice. Licorice can be a tricky note, but this is done really, really well. Then as it starts to dry down, you can feel and smell that lavender starting to work. It has that relaxing feeling that lavender gives you. And then it's blended with some cedar and patchouli and that tobacco note is just really, really good. This is one of the best fragrances that I've tried this winter and Parfums de Nicolai isn't talked about a whole lot, so I think this is a really, really strong fragrance. This next fragrance comes from one of the most sexy fragrance houses in the world, in my personal opinion, by Killian. Amber Oud. Yes, I am a huge fan of Black Phantom and Back to Black and Straight to Heaven and gosh knows, Single Malt, Apple Brandy but I've been recently introduced to this and this is an older fragrance. I think this one came out in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. The notes of this is amber, oud, vanilla, and benzoin. Pretty simple note breakdown, but dag on if this ain't, oh my God, this thing is so sexy. So sexy, I've heard a lot of people say it's their favorite Killian fragrance. It's not my favorite, but it's right up there. There's a lot to choose from from the house of Killian. It's pretty much winter fragrances across the board. Yes, they have Bamboo Harmony and then they have the Miami Vice ones. I haven't been able to dive into that collection yet. So you guys got any of those you want me to borrow for the summer? Just picking on you guys. This one is awesome. If you don't have it, try it out. You got until fall to figure out if you want to get it or not. But this one right here is, oh my God, it's lit. Date night fragrance. Today's episode was brought to you by MyFragranceSamples.com. Be sure to use our discount code CFR15 for you to get 15% off of all your fragrance needs. My next fragrance is a fairly new fragrance. It's either a love or hate fragrance. A lot of people say that it gets kind of a barbecue vibe. Me being a Southern boy from Eastern North Carolina, I love me some barbecue, but that's not the type of barbecue they're talking about. They're talking about Atelier Dior's Lune Feline. This is a spicy vanilla gourmand. It is a deep, dark, seductive gourmand that just really, it's a complex fragrance. It just kind of changes each time you wear it. 
I honestly wasn't all that crazy about it when I first got it, but I absolutely love it. I think the balsam or balsamic vibe in it is the one that kind of throws it off a little bit. It gives it kind of like a barbecue sauce vibe that people talk about. Me, yeah, the opening note is a little bit strange, but the dry down is where the magic happens on this one. Very sexy, seductive gourmand, Loon Feline. This fragrance comes from the house of Mansera, Aoud Vani. This fragrance was featured on the Leighton vs. Aventus winter date night fragrance collab with Desiree. She gave a horrible rating on this fragrance. Six. A six. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, that is the good thing about fragrances. It is very subjective. So when you see somebody rate something on here, remember it's just one person's opinion. Me personally, I think it's one of the most fantastic fragrances I've ever smelled. Eau de Vanille has more going on than just Oud and Vanilla. Had a lot more going on than I anticipated, to be honest with you. This was released in 2015. It is a unisex fragrance. And the nose behind it was Petit Montal. Top notes are Argar Wood, Oud, Saffron, Black Pepper, Cardamom. Middle notes are Floral Notes, which I don't really get. Uh, base notes are Madagascar Vanilla, Gayak Wood, and Sandalwood. So a woody vanilla fragrance. But that sounds too basic because this one is beast mode. It lasts all day. It does yield compliments. Even though Desiree gave it, I think, a six or something like that. I have got a lot of compliments wearing this one. The projection on this one is out of this world. And I'm telling you, it's just a sick, awesome fragrance that I adore personally. I think you should give it a try whenever the winter breaks again. Yeah, spring is knocking on the door. Bye-bye, Udvani. The next fragrance is Hip Cat by Fleur. Oh my God. This fragrance is insane. If you guys have been tuned in this channel, y'all know how I am about my tobacco fragrances. This one is a very simple note breakdown. It says that it's vetiver, tobacco, cherry, and florals. When I first smelled this fragrance, I thought it might have had oud in it. It's, I don't even know how to describe this fragrance. It is insanely good. Really, really good. The way they describe it, when I looked it up, it said it's like a wool coat or some whiskey. You know, the thing of it is, it's a comfort thing, but it's also a sexy thing. I had never heard of this fragrance up until this past winter, and oh my God, if you guys have not tried this, you need to get your nose on it. It's a cute little bottle. It's just a square one with a magnetic cap. The distribution on the sprayer is okay. Not like fantastic, but the juice is fantastic. And it's beast mode performance. Compliments, compliments, compliments. Just think about it. Cherry, tobacco, vetiver, and some florals. I don't really get the florals much. Maybe that might have been why it threw me off and I thought it may have had oud in it. This is an incredible, incredible winter fragrance. Coming to you from the house of Tom Ford, and the private blend has the absolute best fall and winter fragrances. I'm a huge fan of Tom Ford, and it's usually the fall and winter fragrances because the summer and spring fragrances are amazing, but they peter out really fast. So to get the performance you need, tobacco oud intense. And yes, this one is beast mode. This is that corporate guy that just has a ton of swagger. He can wear whatever he wants to the office because he just pulled up in a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Yes, this is Tony Stark in a bottle. This is amazing, amazing juice. Tobacco Oud Intense was launched in 2017. The fragrance features coriander, tobacco, oud, labdamum, amber, sandalwood, cedar, tonka bean, and patchouli. Yes, this is swagger in a bottle. 
it is for me. Now I know people go, okay, what fragrance is that one that's just gonna drive the ladies crazy or whatever. You need to have swagger to go with that and you need to have the confidence to wear a fragrance like this. If you're not used to wearing the oud fragrances, start with oud wood. It is not that polarizing fragrance that people have said that it is. That's probably one of the easiest and smoothest oud fragrances to wear. Now, when you step it up to tobacco oud and tents, yeah, better have some swagger, better be used to wearing some oud and some tobacco. But this one right here is confidence in a bottle. Okay, my last fragrance, I had to travel all the way out to Bohemian Grove just to see what was the deal. Everybody was talking about the Baccarat Rouge 540 with Oud in it. I had to go grab me Oud for Greatness, brought to you from the house of the Illuminati Vinicio. This is one of the coolest presentations with the all seeing eye. Some people have had to sell their soul for this fragrance. Luckily, I've got some inside people. I didn't have to do that. This does have that Baccarat Rouge 540 with Oud vibe, the nutmeg in it and the lavender, the saffron, the Oud, the patchouli. It definitely works. It's one of the more mass appealing and really surprising fragrances that came out in 2018. This one is a home run. And remember, the all seeing eye is watching you. Hey, what the heck, man? I'm trying to record. Who turned out the light? The heck? Forgive me guys, I have no idea what that was all about. But I have to tell you that everything is just okay. No worries. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time on Caroline Fragrance Reviews.